Hello and welcome to a new KSAP Money q and I'm Ivan Herrera and today I'm joined by Charles Wooden, CEO of Geekdom in downtown San Antonio. Charles, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So Geekdom is a collaborative community and co-working space for entrepreneurs and new startup companies. Could you tell me a little more about Geekdom and how members are supported when running their businesses? Yeah, so Geekdom, you know, was a originally founded back in 2011 uh, with the idea that we wanted to be a place where startups were born. Over those first 10 years, a lot has evolved and a lot of organic growth happened with startups here in San Antonio. And right before the pandemic hit, I took over as CEO. And one of the things that I really wanted to do was to create a pathway and make it more accessible for anybody who was interested in starting their own company, had an idea, needed resources that they could plug themselves in. And so now what, what our main goal is, is to build San Antonio one startup at a time. And how we accomplish that is by empowering entrepreneurs to cultivate, shape, and grow their ideas into viable businesses that are ready for the next level. Uh, so we've been doing that now, you know, for the past handful of years, we've seen some great successes and we're super excited now that we're hopefully seeing the tail end of this pandemic and, and, and seeing a lot more uh, amazing new trending startups come out of our space. I know you've seen so many businesses start and fail as well. From when you began to now, how has, how has San Antonio's startup scene changed and what sort of economic impact have you seen during your time in this space? Yeah, I mean, I'll say when I first joined Geekton back in 2017 as business development manager, I was catching, uh, you know, a, a, an upward swing of growth here in downtown specifically and an expansion of resources for startups. Uh, and, and, and since then, what I've seen change is a lot more other resources and organizations pop up to continue to assist with the growth of those startups. You know, if you to point out with what Port SA is doing, they're doing some amazing things in robotics and cybersecurity with what Velocity is doing with the biotech, med tech kind of a world. Uh, it's really creating more resources for these organizations. And, and for me in particular, I've seen the, the startup scene in downtown become its most vibrant leading into the pandemic. We had a startup week uh, that we hosted in October where there were hundreds of individuals walking up and down Houston Street down here and it was very exciting. And we got to see all these other startups that exist and have offices in downtown and across San Antonio get involved. Uh, since the pandemic has hit, obviously it changed a lot, but the thing that I was really excited about was seeing uh, more and more of these early age startups uh, and ideas come out through some of our programs, like our startup weekends. Uh, you know, one to note is a, is a local company called Float Me that has grown very significantly and just closed a $60 million round for their FinTech startup wow. application. Uh, you know, they were founded in 2017 at a startup weekend, and now they are, you know, a company that has offices in three different locations, San Antonio, Austin, and, and Columbus, and they're continuing to grow. And we have a handful of other companies like that, but the economic impact is that went from an idea that was pitched at a startup weekend with a handful of team members to now over 30 employees across three different, you know, cities uh, and continuing to grow and, and raising, I think, somewhere around $47 million total in funding. Uh, so it's it's pretty amazing to see. San Antonio is bustling with new startups that are trying to capitalize on our still growing tech scene. That said, it's hard to stand out among so much business competition in Texas and all over the world. What do you say to people who want to take that first step into the startup world, but may feel overwhelmed because they're not tech savvy or they don't feel like they understand the culture of startup? I mean, my first thought is, is, is it's, it's totally acceptable and understandable to be nervous about that. But my answer is to come in and get involved. There's a couple different ways that when you're at that idea stage for you to get plugged into the community that has been built now for over 10 years here in San Antonio. And the way to get involved is to come in and be a part of a startup weekend. We here at Geekdom are going to be hosting eight of those this year. We've already hosted one so far far in the year of 2022. And another one is coming up in late March, which is going to be focused around women trying to start their own um, companies. So I highly suggest looking out for that. And then there's another, uh, you know, partnership that we have with an organization here called San Antonio Startup Week, and another organization called David Jones Law Partners, where we help uh, anybody who has a company in mind to get a free LLC and get that company formed, which is one of the first hurdles that most individuals come up to and don't know how to answer, do I need an LLC? Do I just need to get a DBA to start my company? Should I get a C Corp? Those questions are answered. 
but we have those every quarter where LLCs are being formed, where questions are being answered. And so if somebody has an idea, somebody has a concern about getting started with that idea, come in, get involved. We're here to help. That's what our organization is here to do. Uh, and those are two places to get plugged in, Startup Week and Legal Clinics. What are some of the emerging industries that you're seeing here in San Antonio that could boost economic development of our city and county area? I mean, I think one of the biggest ones that's popping up and something that we're getting more and more involved in is cybersecurity. Uh, most people don't know, but San Antonio is the second largest cybersecurity employer uh, in the nation, uh, just outside and behind DC area, which is pretty logical. But here there is a growing, you know, there's a growing group of individuals that are either in the military, leaving the military, working in cybersecurity, but also uh, public and private companies that are working on their own cybersecurity initiatives. We just in November announced that we are going to be partnering with an organization called Generator to bring a cybersecurity uh, accelerator here to San Antonio. That class, the first cohort of it is going to start in July, so we cannot wait for that. Um, but yeah, cybersecurity, I think, is number one on that list of different industries that you're seeing pop up here, specifically in tech. Another one that we have seen come up, and I think this makes a lot of sense when I say it, it's going to click is ed tech. We're seeing a lot of educational focused tech solutions come up because we were all um, had to adapt very dramatically when the pandemic hit. Um, and then the last one that I'll say is also a new, uh, a new thing that I've seen popped up and we've seen an amazing startup come out of our space uh, doing great things is femtech. So, uh, you know, female focused technology companies. Definitely. And mentioning tech, you know, it's really become a hot topic, even more so now that we're moving into just more technology based things because of the pandemic. So over these past few years, especially with the new advancements of cryptocurrency, Web3 and emerging metaverses, blockchain technology, what sort of developments has Geekdom seen in these industries that are rapidly growing in Texas and all over the world, really? I mean, we're, we're seeing a lot of interest in that lately. One of, the, one of the workshops that we hosted just this last month was called WTF or NFTs. And the idea behind that is everybody's talking about NFTs. You know, you may know what an NFT stands for, but do you really know what it is? And so we had gathered a handful of, you know, specialists in the area to be able to talk about that and introduce individuals to what that looks like. But we are seeing companies pop up in different areas, whether they be mining crypto, you know, cryptocurrency, whether it be creating NFTs, we even have a social network here that is built off of the blockchain called Arrow.io. Uh, so there's a lot of different endeavors into that world. I still think it's so, you know, new and uh, relatively innovative that I think that there's a lot more to come. The way that I've looked at it, it and I think the best way that I've heard people uh, encompass what that looks like is, you know, when we first started, Everybody had the web 1.0, you know, everybody was gaining access via dial up and it was relatively, you know, novel. Then we went to web 2.0 when everybody was using the cloud. And now this web 3.0, where it's going to be something that's going to be everywhere. It's going to be distributed. And I think that that's the future of technology. And I think that the majority of the startups that we're seeing build now are going to have to incorporate themselves some way, shape or form in what web 3.0 is going to be. So the blockchain is going to become even more and more essential as time goes on. Yeah, and I've actually heard of it being referred to as the Wild West of, you know, the blockchain technology. So right now it's just so much going on that it just feels like it's so much craziness. But hopefully with, with more time, there's more regulations and all that stuff. That's why it's cybersecurity is really important when it comes to any of that stuff. So I'm glad that you brought up cybersecurity. Um, lastly, do you have any advice for those who have a great idea and want to get started in tech? Or in the tech startup world, but don't know where to go from there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know this might sound self-serving, but get involved. Come down to Geekdom. Become a member. Uh, even just come in for a tour, see what's happening down here. And then also get involved with those startup weekends that I mentioned. There are going to be eight this year, again, with the next one being women-focused. You have an idea, sign up for it. That's where teams will be formed. That's where you'll be able to understand how to take your idea to the next level. And then the second thing that I would say is get involved with the LLC clinic, uh, or the, sorry, the free clinic that we have. It, it is something where you can get your answers, your questions answered when it comes to legal and tax implications of forming a business. 
and it also offers you a free pathway to be able to get that LLC. I think those are two great ways that you can get involved other than just coming down and getting involved with the community uh, here at Geekdom. But we're always welcome and try to make it as accessible to anybody as possible. Definitely. Thank you so much for discussing the San Antonio startup and tech scene with me. Where can people go find more information about Geekdom? Please go to geekdom.com. Check it out there. You'll see a list of upcoming events. You'll also see uh, a lot of the programs that we have available to help get those resources out to people with ideas and build them into companies. Great. Geekdom CEO Charles Wooden, thank you so much for joining me on this KSAP Money Q&A. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.